What's up, Internet? My name is Matt Gisantana. Welcome to The Office, where we discuss tech and the world around it. So today I have a new bag to tell you about, and honestly, I had not heard of this brand until Camera Camp. I feel like I'm gonna mention Camera Camp in like every video from now on. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, it was, it, was, it was the best. Anyways, the Wanted Provoke is a very nice bag. I'm super grateful to have won it. The way I won it was a hashtag contest that was going on during the day that we were there. If you posted content, on social media using the hashtags from the event. You entered yourself in the contest to be drawn later on to win. And with my luck, I won. Now it was the runner up prize. The grand prize I believe was a YouTube starter kit. However, this bag is amazing and I'm super fortunate to have it. I mean, just look at this bag. It just looks really, really cool. It's very urban. It kind of looks like a bag you could carry every day. Um, but it also looks like a bag that you could really get some work done with, like with your photography equipment, or maybe you got to go to a shoot and, you know, film a video. This bag just makes you want to pack your camera up, get everything you need, throw it inside and go somewhere and just shoot until your heart is content. So when I first got my hands on the bag and I started going through it to see, you know, all the different options that it had, the first thing that I noticed is that this thing has lots of points of access. Well, really about three. So you have a side camera access where you can, you know, quickly pull your camera in and out. You also have like a lay flat type of opening for your laptop. Now this is perfect for checkpoints at airports. And it's really cool because you could fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro and you could fit maybe like a tablet or iPad Pro or something in there. So you have lots of options and lots of space that you could really throw into this backpack. The third point of entry is the adjustable roll top. So through the top, you can unroll the material and you can get into the top of the bag. You can actually add an additional five liters to this bag by extending the roll top all the way out and closing it up. It also has this really nice strap that you can secure the roll top with so you don't have to worry about anything falling out or, or, or going missing. So inside of the quick camera access, you're gonna find one of my favorite parts of the bag and that's the customizable storage. Now it's modular, so you could put your camera, your lenses, your flashes or any other accessories that you may have. And that's a pretty cool option because you can actually take some of that stuff out if you don't need it and you can use it for additional storage just in case maybe you're traveling or maybe it's just a compartment that you wanna keep all your tech in. You can maybe throw your cables and things like that. In addition to the organization, this is actually a removable camera cube. So if you didn't have a camera, you could actually take this entire thing out and replace it with whatever you need. Last but not least, all the pockets and all the zippers are very, very secure. And there's even this little pocket that is against your back that you can put private items, things that you don't want people to have quick access to. Along the other side, opposite of the camera entry, is another pocket that you can use to maybe put an umbrella or even a water bottle. So this bag actually has a lot of functions. With its weatherproofing zippers and different options, it could be a daily carry bag, a camera bag, a single bag travel, there's also an optional rain fly that can be stored at the bottom of the bag. Now that I have this new bag, time to put it to use. So I'm gonna check it out over the next month or so and I will get back to you guys and let you know my thoughts. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe for more content. Hit that bell for notifications. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps get the channel discovered. If you didn't like this video, you probably aren't still watching. So thanks for stopping by the office. I appreciate your time. Until the next one, peace.